really is showing the real historical Jesus. And that the copies of the copies of the copies that they've all been basically uh, changed. And when you think about it, Bart Ehrman is actually contradicting himself. Because I think in his book, in the book uh, with Bruce Metzer, Bart Ehrman, when they're talking about the canon, he actually admits, and I think he's admitted a few times that, excuse me, that that the changes in the Gospels in the ancient text uh, and also in the New Testament are not that big a change. And he, and he actually admits that. So he makes a big song and dance about these so-called contradictions in the Gospels. But in reality, he, he would agree that the, the veracity of the New Testament, generally speaking, and the Gospels is pretty good. But my point is this, what I'm trying to get at is that the Essenes, when they were doing the Dead Sea Scrolls, they, there was a solid culture of writing, ancient text. And that when you read Josephus, you find out that there's been a long history amongst the uh, Babylonians, the Assyrians, the Egyptians, of a priestly class specifically that would feel the custodians of writing. And making sure that that writing was passed on accurately and that also priestly class is also within in Judaism uh, in uh, prior to our Lord Jesus so what that means is that the, the, there's going to be much more um, uh, coming into the Christian culture that that borrowed from the Jewish culture there's going to be much more historical accuracy and veracity in the copying of these New Testament texts. Um, and my, sec my final argument to, to say that, that these Gospels come from a written culture as opposed just to uh, an oral culture, I don't disagree there was an oral culture, um, is the Gnostic Gospels. If if it was purely just an oral culture, why do we have the Gnostic Gospels? The Nag Hammami literature is a vast literature. Many of these Gnostic Gospels written, written down, proves my point. Also, we found uh, in Egypt, I think in Alexandria and other places, where I think we found uh, burial mounds with crocodiles uh, that have been um, had paper wrapped around them and we found that these are Gospels and Gnostic Gospels and, and, and again showing that it was not just a, an oral culture but a written culture so what I'm saying to you basically demand, dismantles a lot of modern scholarship that attacks the Gospels the modern, gospel, the modern scholarship would say that the Gospels are not accurate because it's oral tradition oral tradition is not as accurate as we think it is, we need to get behind the old tradition to the real historical truth. And this guy here is saying, well actually oral tradition is more accurate so we can stand on oral tradition. I'm saying, well no, uh, we can, we, we not only have oral tradition, we have a written tradition which is more accurate. And we can see that in the Essenes and we can see that in other ancient cultures. We've finished. God bless you. Have a lovely day. And so that's the historical reliability of the Gospels. And also, uh, you can look at Christian Apologetics Alliance, Beginner's Guide to Debunk Bart Ehrman. Have a look at that article. That will help you. And also the historical reliability of the Gospels uh, Probe Ministries. Okay. God bless you. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you for your goodness, we thank you for your love, and we thank you for your blessings, we give you the praise, we give you the glory, we give you the honour. And Father, we just pray that this video will be a blessing to people, a help to people, an encouragement to people, and uh, will guide people and help them to stand on your word, and to not fear modern scholarship, but to know that we have the truth, 
that your word is solid, it's a rock, and we can stand on the rock of Scripture in Jesus' name. All Scripture has been given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine and correction. And we can stand on your word, Lord, and not modern ideas and modern ideologies, Lord, but on your word. Not the fads of modern scholarship in universities, but on your pure word in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Catch you later. Have a good day. See you soon. God bless you. Don't forget, I'm going to London next week. If you want to come and join me, let me know. Get me on Facebook or get me on jasonburspreacher.com and let me know if you want to come next week. 16th, 17th and 18th. God bless you. Of January this year, 2019. God bless you.